In the previous video, we solved d2y by dx squared take away 4 dy by dx take away 12y equals 0 using a long formal method. And we arrived at this general solution. y is equal to a e to the minus 2x plus b e to the 6x. OK? Right. So now what we want to do is we want to go, OK, well, if that was the case, then maybe in general we could say what would be the format of my solution. Would I need to go through that rigorous process again, or can I guess a solution, OK, to start off with? Now, you might be thinking, oh, that's a bit risky, but let's see if we can, OK? So... Let's say, because they're of this form, they are something times e to the power of something times x. So, if we let y be equal to some constant times e to some constant, so let's say m, x. Okay? So let's say I do that, and I substitute it into my second, derivative, my second order differential equation I've got there. So in order to do that, I'm going to have to find dy by dx, which is going to be c m e to the m x. And I need to find the second derivative as well. And that would be c m squared e to the m x. So if I substitute this stuff into the differential equation, I'm going to get the d2y by dx squared, so c m squared e to the m x take away four lots of dy by dx, so take away four lots of c, m, e to the m, x, take away 12 lots of y, so 12 c, e to the m, x, and that's going to be equal to zero. Okay? Now, e to the m, x is non-zero, so I'll be able to divide through by e to the m, x. We've also got c in all of those terms. Now, c will be a non-zero constant. So let's make that clear. C is non-zero. OK, so I can divide through by C. So what would I be left with? I would be left with M squared, take away 4M, take away 12, equals zero. So I would be left with a quadratic equation. And that's where those ideas are, that we looked at in the previous video are really coming from. There is this link with quadratics. Now, this quadratic equation that we are left with, we refer to as the auxiliary equation. OK, so this is the auxiliary equation. And solving this, OK, allows us to find the values of, of m, or value, OK? So... If we solve this, we can factorise it. m uh, plus 2, m take away 6, is equal to 0. So either m is equal to minus 2, or m is equal to 6. OK? So that means that the bit that we have here, the y equals c e to the mx, can either be the y equals c e to the minus 2x, or y equals c e to the 6x. Both of those would work if I substituted them into my second order differential equation. OK? Right. Now, the problem is, and you'll be thinking about this, right, the problem is that here I don't just have c e to the mx, I've got two different ones. I've got um, a e to the minus 2x plus b e to the 6x. I've got a linear combination of two of those. Now, because we got two solutions here, a linear combination of these would work in the second order differential equation. Now, that's not immediately obvious. So what you need to think about is, if I was to substitute in y equals c1 e to the minus 2x plus c2 e to the 6x 
getting the minus two and six from there, and now I've got two constants. One's got to be in front of one, one's got to be in front of the other, because it's a linear combination of those two. If I was to substitute this in, I could find dy by dx, I could find d2y by dx squared and substitute it in. Now the reason why that's going to work is because you will have uh, three terms with e to the minus 2x's, three terms with e to the 6x's, and you will get cancellations through. Okay, we know that the minus 2x and the 6x will work, but you'll have all the minus 2x's bits cancel, and all the e to the 6x's bits cancel, and they will cancel independently. Okay, so it doesn't cause a problem, the fact that we've got both here at one time. So just having one will work, or having the other one will work, because if we have all of those, they, all those will cancel. If we have all of those... They'll cancel. They'll cancel independently if we have just both of them there. And so this is the full general solution to the original differential equation. So the plan is, given a second order differential equation, I go straight to the auxiliary equation. I can read it off. I don't need to set this up. I can read it straight off and go, I've got m squared take away 4m take away 12 equals 0. I solve the quadratic, get my two solutions, and substitute them into this. And then I've got the answer I need. That's going to be the quick method we're going to use. Now, we're going to hit problems when we don't have two distinct real roots. Okay? I'm going to see how we deal with those in the coming videos.